Hey OnePlayers, it's Olga from OnePlay's team here. As you might know, Lord's Mobile, the first AAA title on OnePlay, is focused a lot on might. You gotta blind all the other contenders for the Emperor's throne with the imminent light of your eternal glory. <clears throat> um, everyone starts at castle level 1. You will already upgrade it to level 2, just a few steps into the tutorial. Simply follow the Oracle's instructions and you're already at level 2. Ta-da! The Oracle will also try to get you to go on with um, other things, but plot twist, you don't have to listen to her. You're the Lord, you can do whatever you want. She's not your mom, she doesn't have the authority. Now there are a couple of things that I should mention. Typically upgrading the tower will have conditions. At first, it's the castle gate level, which should always be pretty close to that of the castle itself. For example, if you want to upgrade your castle to level 4, the gates should be at least level 3. That's a pretty straightforward logic here. Other buildings like the vault may require an upgrade as well. Note that the same kind of conditions might apply to these buildings too, so you may end up needing to upgrade the quarry to upgrade the castle gates to upgrade the castle or to upgrade the mines to upgrade the barracks to upgrade the infirmary to upgrade the castle yeah i was lost the first time too and of course you should always keep an eye on resources castle upgrades need substantial amounts of everything really so you would need to maintain a steady flow of these things here all right, let's get to it. All right, so the game tells us to go uh, train a ballista, but we're not doing that. We're going for upgrades straight away. Um, this is the first time we're going to have to upgrade a different building before we proceed to the castle. Checking the resources, everything's fine. And we speed it up for free. Boom. The gates update already. And we can move on to upgrading our castle further to level 3. Um, checking in the resources again. The Oracle thanks us. Um, Alright, so a great way to progress as fast as possible is using these speed ups. You can get these as rewards for solo events, for hero stage, for logging bonuses. Really, um, there is no issue in getting stacked up of those. Uh, there are hell events as well where you could get points for building or research and stack up speed ups. That's um, not really going to be an issue until the, your castle is like level six. Now repeating the cycle, upgrading the castle gates or castle wall uh, because we need to meet this condition. Speed it up and just move on to the castle. So basically the logic is to kind of follow up on all of the conditions that you might have for the castle directly or for the buildings that you need to upgrade for it to move on to the next level and you know just keep repeating the same cycle using speed ups or gems or whatever you prefer. Gems are also a great way. Um, I would not recommend using those for anything else. A great way to stack on gems is um, linking the account or joining the guild which will be available to you at a later stage I believe when castle is level 6. It's so auto using those and grinding And you can see we have we get a lot of resources for um, leveling up, which is why you should not ignore the quests completely. Um, because before we build the facilities to produce these resources ourselves or go on expeditions to get them from the outside world, we will need to get these for all of the upgrades from somewhere, right? And leveling up is uh, an amazing way of getting those uh, are also solo events and all kinds of um, rewards from there 
that uh, you work like you know resource tickets essentially that just give you several thousand of um, I don't know food or ore or whatever uh, and you can unlock these at any way yeah the VIP quests uh, you will get some VIP points as well that you can redeem and enjoy these um, exclusive rewards so to say and there are dailies of course so you can see that there are a lot of ways of stacking on resources before you even have to start producing anything yourself really which is a great aid so that means you can upgrade your castle to level 5 pretty much instantly in like the first 20 minutes of gameplay because you will have enough gems you will have enough uh, speed ups you will have enough resources so you don't have to worry about that up until level 5 it's just pretty much a two steps grind castle wall castle castle wall castle and that's that's it now this might seem like a um super boring game but <laughs> but first of all we have a very specific objective here right we're getting our castle to the seventh level um to make sure that we gather enough might might will also help us in uh battles with different evil heroes that occupy the turf around the castle and you can see uh, you could see down below there there was this kind of a menacing uh, dark cloud um, it will also help us in pvp it will help you as a guild member so um, we're doing some solid long-term investments here we're setting you up for a life of glory as a lord in Lords Mobile. Right now we're ignoring anything else because it's not really it's not meaningful for our goal here but you will see pretty soon that you will need to kind of branch out and start investing more time and resources in well anything around the castle really. Um, I'm not just talking building upgrades here this will also be an essential part as conditions you see we already moved on to the vault which is only really just the beginning <laughs> things are going to get more complicated um but yeah there are also skirmishes um hero stage all of these things and you will need to kind of um at least get acquainted with these before you can proceed really and achieve our goal i must say in advance that it's not going to take you days um ah see that's the the ticket that i was talking about in your inventory if you're low on resources you just go there use it and you will instantly get more resource of a certain type if you're low on something i'm just doing that in advance because this upgrade will almost deplete my food uh, supply entirely and I don't want that I don't want my people to starve <laughs> but see we we pretty much got almost all of it back really with the level up so um, also keep checking your kind of a quest book or quest HUD because like I said we have to get resources from somewhere before we build the facilities um, Eventually, we will have to do that anyway, really. Ah, there's food. See? Make a wish and it comes to you. What was I? Ah, yeah. Uh, before we... Now we're talking. Okay, so now there are two buildings that we need to have at a certain level. It's the infirmary, which is closely tied to barracks. So we will have to upgrade the castle wall, the infirmary, because of the infirmary, the barracks. Um, and because of the barracks, we will have to... Then, after that, you will see it in a minute, we will need to upgrade um, the stone quarry to a certain level. But the problem is, how do we upgrade a stone quarry if we don't have it yet? By the way, you can also speed up the construction by applying the points to your hero's attributes to its 
kind of like skill tree, <laughs> I suppose. Um, it's not going to do a lot, especially in the beginning, but this will still cut down some time from uh, construction. For now, it's all like it's all good. We can just speed it up for free. We got to level three, upgrading it. So to using some speed ups. So as you can see in the beginning, um, upgrading any building is a is a pretty smooth sailing. Really, you don't need a lot for that. It kind of gives you, it introduces you to this routine, you know, uh, to having uh, having to follow up on um, many things across your turfs, across your kingdom and castle. Uh, but at a certain point, there will come a moment where you'll be restricted because this building just requires another building to be of a higher level. And now we're exactly at this point where we need the quarry to be level 6, but we have nowhere to build the quarry, so we're gonna have to fight for it. Um, allow you to experience all of the excitement of the battle yourself without any spoilers, so let's fast forward to the point where everything is all set up for our next stage of upgrades. All right, so here we are. We conquered the new turf, built the uh, all of the resource facilities, including the quarry that kind of holds us from um, progressing further and finally le reaching that level seven. Can you feel it? We're already so close to it. Like, so, there's just a tiny little bit left. Um, so we will have no other choice but to start this series of upgrades. Uh, I remind you, we still need the quarry to be level 6. We need the barracks to be of a higher level. We need the informer to be of a higher level. So, you know, um, a lot of things to do. We, we are busy lords. It's the same usual routine, really. Um, checking for rewards, anything that we can get outside of, uh, out of the game for free to kind of, you know, not have to spend a cent in the game to reach the needed result. We, um, right now we're pretty close, so the infirmary is level 5 already, which is great. We can still speed this up, we still have the free speed ups. The barracks, um, yep, so the barracks are almost ready, that is great. And everything is uh, smooth sailing at this point again. By the way, for those who reach level 6 fairly quickly, there's a one play guild in the game. We still have a couple of dozens of spots, so you are more than welcome to join and spread our play, earn, repeat message to all of the poor souls who have no idea that not only is this an amazing game, but you can also earn crypto there. All right, now we need a workshop and again, because we have nowhere to build it, we will have to enter a skirmish. This is actually more of an advantage really than anything because we will get more buildings, more kind of stuff to do and more um, reward sources there's research in there. As exciting as skirmishes are, they take some time to move on, so let's skip that and jump right to the moment where our workshop is done and ready. Alright, so here we are. We have our workshop, finally, and you should be prepared to have to upgrade another building. Luckily, we have already constructed that, we don't need extra turf, we don't need to do anything else really. We just need to kind of watch our resources closely because we're essentially doing like three construction works in parallel. Being a lord is a is an honest but hard work. Um, okay, so we have great minds to level three, that's good, and we just follow up with the with the workshop, so it's like a you know, it's an upgrade ping pong, so to say. Um, again, don't forget to check your quest book because there may be a lot of things to collect there. See, they're just pouring in, pouring in all of the resources, all of this might. Hell yeah. Okay.
as you can see, at this point, we haven't run out of speed-ups yet, which is pretty amazing. Um, and it just shows you how rewarding a game should really be, especially at the beginning. Um, it gives you a lot to play around with. It gives you not only, like, the tasks to complete, right? But there are literally dozens of ways uh, for you to get some extra resources or might or anything really and this is what I find particularly amazing about this game and mind you this is just this isn't even the half of of it all because there are expeditions outside for like occupation of resource mines in the in the outside world there are monster hunts there are guild events there's uh, PvPs when people go against each other in the game. Okay, and now we run out of speedups. One great way to sort of stack these is a hero stage, where you basically only fight with your heroes against um, mobs like default monsters, but other heroes too. Uh, and what's cool about it is that these heroes that you defeat can then join you. The maximum amount of uh, the heroes that you can have in your party is five, but it's always great to have a good selection of those. All right, so we got some more speed ups. Uh, let's double check. Ah, yeah, see? Um, there are also upgrades for the castle levels, so it's even a bigger incentive to do that because you can get a lot of awesome things to help you progress further. There are, as I said, events. We have nothing to research yet, but we can get points for building and participate in Hell event and get those like speed ups or uh, resource tickets, um, let's say so, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Silly me. Um, I thought that I had like speed ups tickets but uh, those speed ups are they're particularly for training or research so unfortunately we cannot apply this here now what we could do is finish the construction works with uh, gems right but I am too low on these either so what I can do is go on and use the kind of a sign up bonus I guess since I cannot join the guild yet. It gives you 200 gems and it should be enough for a couple of upgrades actually. Let's see how that pans out. Okay, so we got our gems. We can use that to upgrade mines. And now, finally, the workshop. Speeding up, finish the building. Do we have enough? Yeah, yeah, we will actually, we will actually still have some couple of dozens left, which is pretty great. Um, do um, kind of pay attention to the speed up prices there as well, because sometimes it makes more sense to get the speed ups for gems and then to just finish, complete the job with a free speed up. But that depends on the uh, on the construction time that, we, that you have left. So kind of, yeah, get all pros and cons. Um, and decide carefully how you manage your resources, especially ones so precious as the gems. Still no rewards for anything construction related. Ah, I thought that I could get a speed up from the login gifts, but it's only day two. So at the very beginning, um, you may not have that. It really kind of depends on um, where you when you enter the game when you start the challenge this glowing scroll there is also a pretty cool way uh, or like a cool source of all kinds of rewards um, right now I want to focus on uh, sort of setting up bonuses for a longer time ahead so that the construction works can go a bit faster in general like not even talking about the the end goal here reaching level seven. So that's another way. Um, it's more of a long run, kind of. So you didn't have to do it now, but in general, I would advise you to do that. And of course, claim these 
voyage rewards. Now that we have a little bit of um, speed ups again, we can just use that and be done with the castle wall. So now that it's level 6, we can finally upgrade the castle to level 7. It will take some time, so whatever speed ups left, I'm just putting it in there. But it will still, uh, it says that it will still take more than two hours. Now we have several options. We can we can mine for our speed ups in the hero stage or anywhere else, really. We can just buy gems or check the Allied vo Voyage um, roadmap. It says increase mine, gather resources. So those are the things that we can do um, to kind of um, to facilitate the construction of a level 7 castle but other than that it's um in general it it's not it's not just level 7 you know it's always up to you how you want to go about things whether you want you whether you like a completionist who wants to be the fastest the best and everything then you might want to consider investing something in gems um especially now that there's a like um, an offer for new players where they get a lot of gems and all other bonuses for their first purchase or uh, you can invest in speed ups and just go on stacking them it, it really is up to you or you can uh, let's say um, research faster construction and invest the points in your uh, in your lord skill tree in a faster construction and only after that decide to um, decide to go on a uh, castle upgrade spree. But it is generally, um, I think, a very useful thing to do, considering all the all the things that you get for it, uh, the might, the bonuses, everything. And yeah, thanks a lot for watching this let's play. Let us know, as always, what you liked about it, what could be better, and we'll see you in the Lord's Mobile. Ciao!